ATs are good, everything is good. Um, do this like a year ago gosh this car is amazing it's just a freaking brutal machine Today is part two of the last one. If you missed it, we did a walk around of everything that is going on with our new 5.2 Odin supercharged rebuilt 2019 Mustang GT. Guys, it's it's so amazing. There's so much stuff that's inside of this thing. It's so crazy. But today we're gonna actually take it for a first drive. Not my first drive, but it will be for you. Really hot day, it's like 85, 90 degrees. And with a supercharger, this might actually be a great time to take it for a drive, test the limits a little bit, see what it's going to do heat-wise because it's a TVS blower. They are subject to a little bit of heat, but we do have a big seven gallon ice tank in the back. Suspension is new, the blower's new, the engine's new, the transmission's new, everything, everything is, is fresh. It's one of a kind, man, you gotta remember that. It's one of a kind. It's a 2019 Mustang GT, 5.2 block, Coyote heads, Coyote crank, so it's kind of like a board over Coyote with the VMP Odin. Now, yes, a 5.2 also lives in other GTs around the world at this point, but not yet, per this video, with an Odin on top of it in this exact configuration. So this is kind of its own thing. It's it's a world first, if you will. So let's go ahead and hop in the Red Queen, go for a drive and have some fun. Let's go. All right, here we go. It is extremely hot, but kind of a good test, you know, for the blower since uh, they don't like heat, but it's a roar to life. Turn everything on. Man, it's hot. It's so hot. Hopefully this, this camera mount works and it's not terrible and out of focus. So the car shakes. Uh, there's a little bit more shake and everything, especially at idle with this new built engine than like a regular Coyote. So it, remember it's all forged and everything, but it looks like it's just dancing over here. I'm gonna hold it real quick. So we are using a different tuner, Wingard Performance. Daryl is amazing guys spinning cars tuned by all of the big names out there and uh, they all have their flaws in some way and I have yet to find Daryl's the cool thing is that he lives like an hour away from me in my neck of the woods he's already kind of a legend in his own way and uh, if you search him up on the internet he's already making a huge name for himself so wingered performance anyway so yes lots of changed uh, with the car we're on a new K member from BMR look at this short term fuel trims uh, zero negative one zero one zero negative one one zero uh, you can't ask for it's just sitting here idle in freaking crazy heat anyway so we're gonna get going and cool this bad boy off and talk about the feel of the car get into it a little bit and uh, go from there but I, I wanted to put this the front sway bar back in the car listen to that course exhaust sing sing but yeah with the new K member I decided to go ahead and put the factory front sway bar back in the car just for testing purposes I might leave it I might not I don't know yet but I'm, it's, it's so awesome to be like awesome to have the car back in its tip-top shape that it's in right now I mean the car's been through so much and it's really cool to be able to say that like you know me and a couple other buddies put it back together by hand this car was ripped 
all the way apart a couple of weeks ago and it was like that for like six months you know there is backstory to why it took forever when we got the car back and it was in not the greatest condition there were some things that happened which led me to uh, move on in a different direction from the build and the, you know everything that we were doing before and ultimately led to me pulling the turbo kit off of the car I'm not gonna beat up a company that's not what's gonna happen you know sometimes you know, listen Jesus Christ told us to turn the other cheek in. and that's a lot of what's gonna be happening so on to what matters the car the way it feels drop it down and uh, we'll give it a little gas with the 88 millimeter pulley that these engines come with, they typically on 93 pump gas make around seven, seven, 10, somewhere in that ballpark, wheel horsepower. We have more bore, okay? This engine is a Coyote crank 5.2 block uh, with Gen 3 Coyote heads, okay? You know, ARP goodies everywhere, manly everything, it's built engine, all right, fully forged. But it's, it works like a Super Coyote, so the stroke is still Coyote but we have the bore of a 5.2, so we get a little bit more power. How much more? I don't know yet to be determined. Um, I've been told upwards of 100 horsepower difference between the two. I don't know if there's any truth to that or not. All I can say is the 5.2 block itself seems to be a little bit more solid than a Gen 3. Oh, I don't know, I'm not an engine builder, but I can tell you that it works. It's great, it sounds about the same. There's, uh, it, the feeling is a little bit different, at least in mine. I, this is my first built engine, guys, but um, yeah, we're gonna do some more pulls. That was a lot of fun. We're back on the stock converter, right? Built transmission and everything, but I like the feeling that we get on the street from uh, the factory converter. Now, we will eventually do another stall, but for now, I think the car feels incredible it's so responsive and um, this is kind of what I wanted to do from the beginning was a blower something like this you know we are um, only about 20 degrees or so over ambient right now with the big ice tank in the back and now importantly too is what do the IATs look like at the end of the pools uh, I'll probably make a whole another video specifically on that how everything works with the ice tank and this blower because some of you guys out there might want to replicate something like this you know maybe not necessarily this engine because you got to go build but as far as blower and ice tank now keep in mind too that the Odins also do come with ice tanks generally if not it is an upcharge somewhat but it's it's a little bit more cost effective than what I've got mine is just bigger it's so they worked about the same mine just bigger it's got a, a bigger pump and everything else it's meant to pack that thing full of ice at the drag strip and that is where we're going to be taking this car believe me to the drag strip and see what this thing will do this is just a fun car the turbos were really cool too they were twin 64s and uh, they were they packed a lot of punch but this is a lot more kind of um, immediate I guess get up here and uh, take some turns IETs are good, everything is good. Uh, wow, sharp turn on the brakes. Here we go. Oh, buddy. Oh, I could never do this with the, uh, the setup that I had before. This was a really sharp turn, so I'm on the brakes hard. This is. Oh, this is what I wanted from the beginning. Why did I not do this like a year ago? Oh, um, so yeah, the, <laughs> the IETs came down from just doing that, going through the little turns. Oh man, I was not being easy through that. That's so amazing. Fuel trims are, pr I, gosh, this car is amazing. It's just a freaking brutal machine. I might leave the sway bar and everything up front like alone 
it might hurt me on the quarter mile, but dang it, it's fun on the street. Oh my gosh. This is, uh, this is awesome. Oh man. Oh man. Nothing but negative knock over here. Negative is always a good thing. It means it's adding time and it's happy. This is a 1400 horsepower rated engine. We're not going to kill this thing. Knock on wood, but you know what I'm saying. Oh, look, we got a straightaway. Let's do it. like all these first pulls I was gonna do like a whole other video but I can't help it <sighs> oh my gosh this is this is so silly this is so silly so I think I think the horsepower is like 750 maybe it, it may not be that high with the bore and everything I don't know if it's a hundred horsepower that feels like 700 mid 700s um that is freaking nuts we got to get this kid thing on e85 very quick and already have party pulleys like back in the garage and more mods too i will say that there's no wine at least not with this pulley now we are on a like a loud of course exhaust and everything but i was hoping for some blower wine now blower wine is could, could be said as you know argued that it's inefficiency but i don't care i want to hear it but um kind of a shame that i can't don't know why but that's okay because there's something in the garage ready to be installed that's going to help with that so that'll be a whole nother video but guys i'm really excited about this i've actually had it for a long time me the whole time just know that um I, yeah i can't show you the speed that we were doing earlier uh, this is this is silly dude this is silly this is the way that i always wanted the car to feel i don't know what it's going to do on the drag strip but i can tell you the throttle response there's no wait time it's it's a lot more immediate so the twin turbo stuff you know it does spool up pretty quick but there was some delay uh now you can combat that with going like a smaller turbo or something like that you know like with the hellion kit one of the most common sizes like a twin 62 66 or something in that ballpark and they hit pretty fast pretty immediate but not like a blower this is this is immediate and if the car feels this good i can only imagine i can only imagine with another 8 to 10 psi or more will feel like out of this car ridiculous but that is exactly what we're going to be doing here in the coming weeks so i'm going to continue driving guys this thing is a blast um i could i could talk about it for the next hour how much i like the car in its condition the way it drives right now but i can't spoil all the fun so subscribe turn the notification bell on guys and get ready for the other videos to come but i'm really in love with the way the car has come together all of the hard work you know uh to get to this point i said it in previous videos man we had a steep hill to climb but once we're at the top there's going to be nothing but sunlight and dancing so we have victory i feel like we have victory yes finally the red queen lives and she is awesome i love it i'll see all you guys in the next video take care God bless you. Until next time, bye.